Hi, my name is Maria and welcome back to Vixen's Victorious. Uh, I will be I will be doing the grand final review of uh, New South Wales Swiss and Giants. Um, we will be get back to like regular like Melbourne Vixen stuff after this, so we'll do the season review uh, this weekend. This video is up late um, because time management. Um, but uh, yeah, I'd like to before I begin. Um, I'd like to say it was an amazing game from both teams. Um, I'd like to give a shout out to Joe Harton because her runners up speech was one of the best I've heard. I feel like runners up speech are always so awkward and uh, it's, and everyone, I feel like most of the ones I've seen, people just really don't want to do it and they feel like they have to do it. But I feel like you know, just Jo Harden was so class and she said so much sportsmanship. Like she sort of put her feelings aside and really acknowledged the winning team, uh, which I wish would happen more, ex like especially in like team finals, you know what I'm saying? It's, um, it's, uh, yeah, she never made, she didn't make it awkward at all. She just really, she was all class and all sportsmanlike and I really liked that. Um, but yeah, let's go on to the match review. So the first quarter uh, was uh, 17 goals to Swifts and 15 to Giants. Uh, Swifts did get off to a quick start uh, in the first quarter, but then Giants caught up. Um, only lost the first quarter by two goals, so it wasn't. It was. It was been a close. It was a close one, or just all four quarters. It was close. Um, just so, you know, just. Little minor mistakes from Giants, but there were a lot of turnarounds in this game, definitely were. Uh, second quarter, it was 15 from New South Wales Swiss and uh, 13 from Giants. Uh, yet again, another <laughs> two point quarter loss. Uh, so at this point, they were behind by four. Um, you know, at no, um, it was really great. Um, so Sam Wallace was obviously so amazing. I just feel like Drew Harton was a little bit off her game. It definitely wasn't her best, but it wasn't terrible at the same time, if you know what I mean. Um, but I guess that's what comes with the pressure of finals. You know, it, it, you're in a final, of course, it's going to be heaps of pressure. You're the two best teams for the season. And uh, it, it was never going to be easy. Uh, third quarter, it was New South Wales, uh, Swiss 17 and Giants 12. They definitely fell a little bit behind in the third quarter, which definitely didn't help them for sure. Um, maybe if that quarter was a little bit more closer, maybe it could have been a different outcome, we'll never know. Um, but yeah, I feel like that was probably the quarter that let down Giants the most, for sure, in my opinion. And in the fourth quarter, it was uh, 14 New South Wales Swifts and 19 Giants. Uh, so Giants won that last quarter, they brought it back to uh, a four points difference, but obviously it wasn't enough for for the minor premiers to win the Saddle Club Super Netball final. Um, but you know, as you know, as we know, you know, any fan of sport knows that being minor premiers never guarantees you a grand final victory. Uh, that's just how life is. Um, but yeah, you know, so with goals, uh, it was ninety five percent each of accuracy. Uh, so Swifts got fifty five out of uh fifty eight, and Giants got forty one out of forty three. So. Uh, Swifts had more scoring shots uh, than Giants and that was obviously, um, that's probably what else to help Swiss. I feel like, who had possession more? Yeah, Swiss, Swiss are a possession team, so you know, they got, Swiss had the ball 54% of the time, whereas Giants only had 46. Uh, maybe if it was a little bit closer, 
different story. I mean, we all make mistakes. Um, but I feel like just a f few more mistakes came from the giant side. Uh, super shots. Uh, Swift got four out of six, and Giants got nine out of twenty-two. Um, even like if they just got eleven super shots, they, they would have tied at least and gone into extra time. Um, yeah, I, I think there's because normally Giants are a super shot team. They they have dominated that the super shots all season. Uh, but they just couldn't do it in the grand final for some reason and if, that, if that's finals pressure maybe we don't know what's happening behind closed doors we don't know any reasons why we can only just assume but but my personal opinion it's not fact just opinion that because it was finals pressure maybe they're a little bit too self-conscious about the shot feeling like they had to be perfect like more perfect than usual um, we don't know what's going through their brains, but, uh, that's my take on it. Um, with penalties. <laughs> yeah, uh, so it's got 40 penalties, uh, Giants had 59, that's massive difference. Just all game round, there was a lot of penalties being made, uh, by the Giants more so than Swiss, and... I feel like Giants uh, were really expensive for the penalties, which probably put uh, the Swiss in a good place. Um, like I said, it's always, when it comes to Grand Finals, it's always the small little things that make the big difference, like penalties and the super shots, even though they had like like 22 shots, they only made nine. If they made even just half of them, it would have won by two points. It would have been a closer game. Um, so you know it, it's just the littlest things it, it's that it's not it's like the both teams played extremely well none of them played terribly it's just that um it, it's just the littlest things that giants messed up on that that calls them the final and uh you know it's it's life that's what it is like to be a professional athlete it's never the um big things that make you lose it's always sometimes it's just a lot of things and that really sucks <laughs> um so uh Maddie Turner got player of the match which is nice to actually see a defenseman get that award because normally like especially in AFL it's always like the uh, forward or midfield never anyone in defense never the Ruckman um but it's great just to see like someone like in defense win that stat uh win that award so good on maddie turner uh i'll still like to give a shout out to sam wallace played an amazing game um to the captains uh hadley and uh proud maddie proud I, I can vibe with her. She is such a vibe. <laughs> she's such she's like it, it's uh I relate to her definitely the most. <laughs> um especially her comments like we may not be nice to the umpires all the time, but like we need you and that's so true. <laughs> um just in any sport, I feel like players like to argue with the umpires all the time, but that the umpires uh the game definitely wouldn't be as clean or as regulated as it is. Um but yeah, yeah for the Giants, obviously Joe Harton, um, you know, she did do well, it was just the little things and that is just really unfortunate, uh, Daya, uh, like she's 19 I think, is she? She's still very young, still has a lot of, uh, growth ahead of her, for sure, she has a lot of growth ahead of her. Um, and maybe it was just that little bit of inexperience that maybe put a little bit more pressure on Joe Harton, which probably, you know, why things turned out the way it did. But that's no, but that's um, not Dyer's issue. That, that that wasn't um, 
it's not her fault <laughs> for being inexperienced. Uh, some people thrive under that pressure, some people have to learn to thrive in that pressure. Um, and uh, they'll just come with time, you know, and you know, that's not her issue. Uh, Jamie Lee Price, I love. <laughs> uh, Pearl Manta did particularly well for Giants, not gonna lie, did well. Um, but yeah, that would be it for me this week. Uh, before I leave, I uh, got the news today that Simone McInnes has extended her contract for an extra four years, which is exciting. Love Simone McInnes, love her in the team, um, and it's just really exciting to have her. Um, you know, I feel like this year, the Vixens, it was more about trying to put together a cohesive attacking lineup. Um, especially when Maloney and Watson are such great friends, when you don't have your friend there, it's hard to create that same connection with someone else. Um, and then of course with goal attack, we're missing Tegan Phillips and Caitlin Twaits and trying to fill those spots also too really hard. Uh, but we did show moments of greatness. We just need to show them more often and more consistently. And I feel like we'll have a better season next season. Um... But yeah, that's all for me this week. Uh, please give it a thumbs up. If you like, comment down below some of your thoughts on the match. Uh, please get, hit the bell notification so you know the next time uh, we post a video. And follow the um, social medias in the description down below for regular Vixens news. Um, they're not always on time, but I do do it daily. Um, and yeah, so see you in the next one. Bye.